welcome back to Daniel Smith's Color Showdown and this is the final episode. That's 20 episodes, we've looked at 40 colors and it has been so much fun. And in this final episode, we are going to take the ultimate test. We are going to compare the two most expensive colors in Daniel Smith's range of 240 colors. These two are the ultimate ones that I certainly have wondered about for a very long time. Kingman Green Turquoise Genuine and Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine, they look pretty similar on color charts and things, but I've certainly been too scared to try them out because they are so expensive. They are series five, guys. Now, I don't know how much that is where you are, but it sure is very expensive over here in the UK. And so I am so, so grateful for my patrons for making this episode possible. They actually have to reach an extra goal to be able to make this episode happen. And they did that so fast. So I am so grateful. Thank you so much to my dear patrons. I really like the both colors on the swatches and you can see that they are definitely different, but how are we going to choose between one or the other? Because I don't know about you, but you know, it, like if I didn't have the backing of my wonderful patrons and I was feeling really flush with cash one month, I'd still be like, eh, I'm only comfortable spending that money on just one of these tubes. And then how do I know whether to go for Sleeping Beauty or Kingman Green Turquoise? So I'm going to test these two colors the way I've always done it. And hopefully I'll be able to help you guys pick one or the other with confidence so that you don't have to worry about risking and gambling your money to get the right color. First up is Kingman Turquoise Genuine and it is made out of the pigment named Genuine Kingman Green Turquoise. Daniel website says natural Kingman Green Turquoise Genuine captures the magic and mystery of the ancient southwest in a subtle greenish turquoise. It is mined near Kingman, Arizona, which lies along a Native American trade route. So from that description, it basically means the name of Kingman Green Turquoise means it's a green turquoise from Kingman. It is a series five color. It is classified as excellent in light fastness, transparent, non-staining and granulating. Next up is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. And again, this is a turquoise that come from Sleeping Beauty Mountain. Daniel Smith's website says, a unique and vibrant blue, the gemstone comes from Sleeping Beauty Mountain in Arizona, where we found a deposit that lives up to our high expectations. It is light fast and permanent, with none of the transient color fade that plagues most turquoise. Turquoise has a unique porous nature that produces granular washes. Juicy washes flow from the brush and dry brushwork has the intense texture found only in a mineral pigment. Traditional mineral pigment often have a muted feel and our unique turquoise genuine has a true brilliance. We use the highest grade mineral that is found closest to the Earth's surface, where environmental factors have enhanced the structure to gemstone quality and deepened the tonal riches to a remarkable blue. Historic reference of turquoise date back as far as Egypt's first dynasty. Turquoise from the American Southwest has been unearthed in Aztec ruins and Persian turquoise was used as trading currency. So we're throwing in a lot of mystery and mystique into that sales pitch. It is a series five color as well. Classified excellent in light fastness, semi-transparent, non-staining. Welcome back, the paints have dried. This side is Kingman Green and this side is Sleeping Beauty. Wow, I think this is the biggest difference we've had this season. I'm kind of glad to see two colors that are quite different. But as you can see, the Kingman Green is definitely the more greener color. 
and the Sleeping Beauty is definitely the more bluer turquoisey color. They are both really, really nice color. So let's take a closer look at each of the tests we did and compare the two colors together. For washes, this side is Kingman Green Turquoise Genuine and this side is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. They are both granulating colors. However, I have to say, I do prefer the granulation pattern of the Sleeping Beauty over the Kingman Green. The Kingman Green are more dotty. The granulation uh, look more like particles rather than a traditional definition of a granulation that you see in the Sleeping Beauty. They both create lovely, lovely, gorgeous washes. When it comes to the really watered down hues, I really like how soft green the Kingman Green Turquoise is. They are both very easy to do the gradated washes. However, I did notice just very, very slightly here on the Sleeping Beauty, that it's starting to cauliflower. So maybe if you are trying to do a wash with Sleeping Beauty, you just have to be a little bit more careful than you have to with Kingman's Green. I don't think you can cauliflower a Kingman Green it's such a lovely color to do nice gradated wash with. Let's have a look at opacity lifting and glazing first and up here is the Kingman Green and down here is the Sleeping Beauty. For opacity this is very interesting because Kingman Green up here is classified as transparent and the Sleeping Beauty is classified as semi-transparent. However I can very clearly see deposits on both lines. So I definitely don't think Kingman Green Turquoise is a transparent color. I can see a lot of deposits on there. I would say these are more somewhere between semi-transparent and semi-opaque rather than transparent and semi-transparent. In comparing the two, I would also say that they are both pretty similar in how opaque the colors are. For lifting, they both lift easily. I'm actually quite surprised with the Sleeping Beauty because it's such an intense color, but no, you can get it almost back to a white, just like you can with the Kingman Green. In terms of glazing, they do both glaze well for a non-staining color. However, between these two, I have to say the Kingman Green, I prefer the glaze a little bit more than the E. Sleeping Beauty. With the Sleeping Beauty, when you get a high concentration, you get this yellow ochre hue mixed in with the colour, which is not as nice as this clean hue that you get with the Kingdom Green. Since these two colours are both granulating, they go very well as well. And I have to say, I like both of these colours. In terms of salt, it didn't really do much in on either of these two colors and the water bloom I would say is a medium level of reaction but the Sleeping Beauty did a little bit better in keeping the feathered look more than the Kingman Green did. Now let's take a look at how these two colors mix with other colors and for reference here are the 12 colors I mixed these two colors with. So this is how Kingman Green Turquoise Genuine look with these 12 colors. And this is how these 12 colors look when you mix it with Sleeping Beauty. Kingman Green being the less intense color, you are gonna get a paler palette than you do with the Sleeping Beauty. Having said that though, I do love the colors that you get with the Kingman Turquoise. It's a nice soft spring kind of palette and it is gorgeous. And if you have a nice soft color range on your palette, then this will be a good addition to that palette. Whereas with the Sleeping Beauty, you are gonna get a much brighter mixes, especially from pink onwards through your blues and greens. I have to say though, is it me or is mixing cadmium yellow light or any kind of yellow with the Sleeping Beauty 
gets you pretty close to the King Man Turquoise Genuine. It's not exactly the same colour, but I'm sure if you play it around with the ratios, you're going to get it pretty close to the Kingman Turquoise Genuine. If you have to pick between one of these colours, I would go for Sleeping Beauty, and then when I need a Kingman Green kind of colour, just throw in some yellow. For the Kingman Green Turquoise, the Quinacridone Violet creates a nice cooler neutral tone, whereas the Permanent red will give you a nice warmer more neutralized tone Whereas for the Sleeping Beauty Vermilion it's spot on on creating a really well balanced neutral shade So in conclusion two very different colors and thank goodness we finally figured out what the difference between these two Very expensive colors are so as you can see Kingman Green is the green one and the Sleeping Beauty is the bluer more turquoisey one Kingman Green is also the slightly less intense colour of the two. You're going to get a paler mixes with Kingman Green than you are with the Sleeping Beauty. Besides the difference in the hue and the intensity though, the paints behave pretty similar to each other. It gauzes very well, struggles with the salt, kind of medium with the water blooms. Besides its different hue, the biggest difference you're going to see is when you start mixing with other colours. The Kingman Green is going to create a much more softer, paler, more spring colours than the Sleeping Beauty, which creates a more intense, more summery colours. As for me, I think this is the hardest one to choose for me. They Because the hues are so different, but I think because I have such strong intense colors on my palette i'm slightly worried that the kingman green is just going to disappear amongst the you know the napsols and the thalers and the quins whereas i love the hue of the sleeping beauty and it's intense enough that i think it can stand up well to all my boisterous colors i have on the palette which one would you go for would you go for the kingman green turquoise genuine or the sleeping beauty turquoise genuine do let me know in the comments down below they are both such nice colors if you have either or even both of these colors on your palette and you love using it in your paintings then please do let us know in the comments down below what you like to use these colors for now this is the final episode of season two we have now covered 40 colors and it has been such a joy to go on this journey with you now for season one and two we focused on daniel smith's colors however i want to start doing a new series called the what color color showdown and as the title suggests i want to open up this format of really intensely comparing two colors and testing them out exact same format for other brands as well as Daniel Smith. So if you have always wondered between brands, you know, what's the difference between this color in that brand and this color in this brand, then this is going to be the series for you. The new series is my next Patreon goal. So if you head on over to my Patreon, you'll see that I have different goals where you can unlock new series and this is going to be the next one so if you do have questions like are these two colors are they any different or these two colors are supposed to be the same between the brands but are they really and if you can afford even one dollar because one dollar makes a huge difference then please head on over to my patreon and sign up to become my patreon thank you so much for all my patrons who have supported this season two they funded this series and they allow me to create content like this that both you and i are interested in and so thank you so much your support means so much to me and i am eternally grateful for your generosity and your support as well there are other perks to becoming my patron besides the standard behind the scenes stuff and things so do go on over to my patreon and find out what kind of perks you can get for becoming my patreon you can receive things like original paintings from me 
a monthly dot cast that changes theme every month and even a 100 and even a 108 color whole by full range dot card as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and this whole season. I know you guys have watched every episode and thank you for watching this series. If this video was interesting to you and if this season was interesting and useful to you, then please do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if this is your first time visiting this channel and just thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in this epic journey of colour comparisons. I've enjoyed every minute of both making it and then talking to you guys about it down in the comments below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video and hopefully a new series very soon. Bye!